So we've gotten all the other endpoints in our CRUD taken care of, except for the delete endpoint. And the delete endpoint is going to be relatively hidden. We don't want the delete button to be one of the first things that you see. We want it kind of tucked away a little bit so that people can't accidentally delete their clubs. Okay, so let's go ahead into our actual get mappings right here. And let's go ahead here and I am going to put a get mapping for the delete endpoint. So we're gonna go into here and this get mapping is going to have clubs slash, and we're gonna have the club ID. And then we're going to have a slash again and we are going to have a delete. And I spelled get mapping wrong. So we're going to have get mapping. Then what we're gonna do is we're going to have public public string and we will just call this delete club just you stick to the naming convention of what we have named other methods so this is going to be a path variable and it's going to of course take in our club id so we'll have a club id for the path variable and we will also need to put in our long and this long will be of type club id and that is pretty much it for our parameters. Next thing that we need to do is we need to have a club service and we're going to go into here. We are going to make a delete uh, function for our club. We are going to take in the club ID, but we don't have any actual methods. So we need to create one. And a very easy way of doing this is just going into here and clicking method delete and adding it to our club service. So now we have our delete method in our actual interface. What we want to do is click the red text, go to the service impl, go to implement the method, click okay, and just go into here and actually create a repository method from the repository that has the delete method in it. And the way that we do that is we just type in club.repository, so go ahead and delete by ID and we're going to go ahead and put in our club ID. So that should be pretty much it. It's a void, so we're not actually going to return anything. Let's go into our delete club and let's finish out the rest of the actual controller. And the only thing that we have to do left is return redirect. So we are going to go into here and we go, are just going to redirect this to clubs. Because the actual delete functionality is going to be only reserved for admins, you typically don't want people to delete. You only want to have it so that either the owner or obviously the admin has that. And we will go back later and we will actually do that. But for right now, we don't have any actual security, so we can't do that. So let's go into our actual detail page and let's turn this actual read more button into a link that can just send a quick get request to do the delete and do the redirect. So what we will do is we will go into here and we will just have a th href that will go into here and add a link expression to be able to hit this endpoint of clubs, club ID. So we will have club, then we will have a club ID or just ID like this and put the other curly bracket bracket and then go to here we have a delete and then after this what we're going to have is a club id and this will equal to see club dot id with a parentheses and that should be good to go and also we are going to change this to club id because this is what this that is right there so that is just a representative of a variable I also forgot to put a bracket on the outside right here. So there was a typo, but I went back and corrected that. So let's go ahead and let's try again. So I've got my page up. What I want to do is I want to go here. I want to test this one and see if this one deletes because it's got a lot of bad data and I don't want this one. So I'm going to go here and let's go ahead and let's test it. Looks like we got a good delete. So I'm going to go here, test it on this one again. And then I'm gonna to go to this one and I'm gonna test it just so we can get all these bad records out. And we've got our delete working. Everything is looking really good. So let's go ahead. We're gonna put a search bar up here and our app is really starting to take shape.
Anyways, hope that you guys enjoyed this. If you did, smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. And as always, thank you for watching.